Hello everybody, it's I the, the Willowigi Big Mac and welcome back to Pizza Tower. Last time we beat up Pepper Man here who's uh, who's an asshole. Uh, we completed uh, three out of the four levels of this uh, of this world. Uh, let's change your color again. Uh, not, we're not ready for that color again. Uh, or that one. No, pink. Pink will do. Anyway, welcome to a salute. Uh, so fun fact, these, uh, these, uh, fear cat enemies, they used, uh, when they shoot you, they used to, uh, turn you to the ghost form. In fact, a lot of enemies used to uh, change your forms, like in Wario Land, like, uh, the, uh, the Piz, the, the Piz Art, uh, which are, which are the words we saw back in, uh, Piz Escape. They used to, they used to transform you into, uh, they used, they used to turn you into, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the night form. Anyway, uh, this level has a bit of, uh, an inspiration from Domino Row and from, uh, Warrior Land 4. Okay, cool. We were able to get past it. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get that thing up there. Ruby, got it. Anyway. Uh, well, thank you mentioned there is a very difficult achievement for this level where you have to only press these buttons once, and once only. If you press the same one again, uh, you fail. Anyway, now these are evil rats. They are more mean and less different compared to uh to those to your to the regular old uh, stupid rats. They're not as cute looking, and I hate them. Apparently, apparently, now don't shoot the messenger. But originally, they were supposed to eat you. Uh, in uh, in the the enemies were originally intended to eat you. Uh. See, I wonder why they uh they scrapped it. Uh, there's also achievement to, to unclip every single card, but I'm not going to do that. for us, uh, we can easily win this race. Also, look at the horse, uh, look at the horse, he is not happy about losing there. Oh, that resets your, uh, momentum, that is. That is not okay. There we go. Woo. Yeah, also, for the car for collecting all the card card achievements, the secret does count, so yeah. Especially if you go too fast, it's gonna be uh you're gonna have to take your time with that, so uh so do be mindful about that. I love I love the sample they use for this, uh I love the example they use for this uh, song here. Remind gives gives me a lot of vibe from uh, Sneaky Man from Jet Set Radio.
Anyway. Anyway, let's just grab Jerome and uh, get the hell out of Dodge. Yep, certain doors you can access uh, now as you're covered by uh, John Sad Face. I am tired of these goddamn cowboys. As you may see now, I'm not sure if you noticed up there, but Jerome's uh, gender closet is right there. Uh, so obviously you have to get rid of the super rat here in order to get to it. But then you just have to roll through there and you got yourself a donut. Do I don't know how donut, uh, I don't know how donut uh, connects, has connections to a pizza, but uh, I ain't going to question it. Oh, hold on, we need to go in there. You know what? I think I might go for all the secrets at this rate if I'm getting consistently getting all three of them. But it, it all depends on the on the third level. But like it really all depends on that third level because the third level has a really mean secret spot. That you can only that you only have one attempt to get it, and if you screw it up, you're gonna have to restart the level just to get it. And when it comes and when it comes to secrets, if you want the, the game to uh, say that you got all three of them, you have to complete the level with all three with finding all three secrets. I found this out the hard way with the uh, with not the final final level, but but the uh, the final level before the final. Level. Anyway, uh... Anyway, let's, let's put on some bones and fight, fight the world, the floor 2 boss. Now, remember how I said Pepper Man was the easiest boss in the game? This is the, this is in my opinion, the hardest boss in the game. Now, if, if for whatsoever reason I lose the fight to this guy, Obviously, I'm gonna do my first attempt, but I'll jump cut to a uh, to a temp where I, where I was actually successful. Uh, with that being said, let's get to it. Outlaws, be outlaws, beware the vigilante. So, how do you guys feel about a old-fashioned uh, western uh, uh, gunfight? Now, one thing I should mention about these boss fights, every three hits you deal to the boss, you get, uh... Uh, you get health back. One hit, one hit point, but considering, you, but considering you have, uh... But considering you have six health, it is really helpful to know. Like, you can keep track of how many times you hit the boss. You'll know that the next one, you could feasibly... Oh god, take a hit like that. There we go. Back to full health. Uh oh, flame door. And get out of here, Gramps. No one likes you. Oh, what? I jumped over that. And I pressed the top button there, Gabe. Yeah. I love, I love when my button presses don't come through. Anyway, uh, now this part of the fight is really cool, but also the scariest part because, uh, because this false fight could get really unfun really fast midway through the second phase. So so that so that so that pattern he'll continuously fire the gun, forcing you to have to jump. At that point it 
uh, just trying, just trying uh, uh, to do the charge shot. Now the cows is is what makes this uh, fate annoying. Uh, but honestly, ooh, actually, am I actually going to get? It? I'm gonna get decent score on uh, Vigilante for once. I don't think that wasn't too bad, but I think that's just because I just know his patterns uh, by now. Prepare to draw. And honestly, that's just because this boss took me like 20 tries to beat. Like, I'm actually being legitimately serious. This fight took me forever to beat. Oh, okay. Yeah, B rank. That's kind of what I expected. I don't have C rank, but still, not having to do this fight again is fine, fine to me. Anyway, welcome to World 3. Now, here's Cross Cove. This is the level that has the very mean secret spot. I'll show you where it is if I fail it. And like I said, I'm not going for all secrets. But there might be a chance where I might accidentally just get all the secrets anyway. And at that rate, I'm like, man, whatever. I, I, I love that sound. Good. How did I miss? Get back here. Get back here, you despicable. Also, oh yeah, pineapples are my favorite enemy in the game. Big stick all with you. Just, uh, let's look at these guys. <laughs> this is why I love them. Get out of here. Anyway, this is where Jerome's door is. Because this, it is very forgettable. Every time I try to get, get to Jerome's door during pizza time, I always seemingly for, forget to do it. So, I'm, so as soon as I get Jerome, which I know where he is, I'm just going to backtracking and, uh, and just, well, I'm just going to backtrack and get over to, uh, his door, so I don't have to worry about it. All to get lemonade. Uh, oh yeah, here's a, here's a Luigi Big Mac hotcake. I am not a big fan of lemonade. Well, and iced tea, but, but if, like, to put it this way, if you're giving me the option, like, if you're giving me a drink option to buy the lemonade or iced tea, I would probably prefer lemonade. It's not that bad, but it's not, but it's not my preferred drink. Like, normally, normally I would probably prefer water at that rate, or, so, or like, soda if it's available, but, like, but, like, not, not caffeinated, though, like, like, Sprite, uh, not, not caffeinated, cola, root beer, uh, orange soda, you name it, anything that's just isn't caffeinated. Anyway, here's the first secret. Anyway, the barrel uh, transformation. Pretty simple. You just hold uh, the mock the mock button, and you start rolling immediately. Now, now you might think these pineapple enemies are use are useless as they don't hurt you. Uh, they still can hurt you. Uh, you just have to, you just can't jump on them or ground pound them. So as long as you're not jumping on top of them, you should be fine. Shit. Alright, let me try that again. There we go. 
forgot to change clothes again. Ah, oh, well, it's not a big deal. Actually, you know what? This kind of fits. This kind of fits the level thing. There are there are pirates here. Skulls are associated with pirates. Also, bananas and pizza. Ugh. Like I love bananas, but not on my pizza. Anyway, the uh, the very mean secret is coming up. There it is. Yep. So, you might be wondering why it's very mean. This water looks fairly normal, right? Well, you'll see in just a second. Yeah, it's piranha water. You you uh you land on it, you get launched in the air from uh, piranhas. So yeah, if you if you fail to uh if you fail to crouch. Or, like, if you fail to do that, uh, that's it. You're gonna have to restart the level if you really want that thing. Whee! Uh. Alrighty then. Well then. We're just gonna kind of breeze through this level here. Uh, secret number three is right here. Behind this, uh, this cannon. And this one is only accessible if you know how to parry, so, uh... Best you start learning how to parry, folks. Uh, there's achievements in for this level to not get hit by explosion, which I obviously just failed. For. But it's not—it's not really. Ow! It's not really much of a big deal. Anyway, we should time. Sorry if I'm not talking too much, I'm just kind of running out of things to say, because I kind of did all the talking in the, uh, in the beginning of the Let's Play. Uh, oh yeah, short hops is the key here. Uh, yep, also, that's another achievement there. Uh, finding all the all the axes uh, to find buried treasure in the form of treasure chest enemies. Which are really just naked gremlins uh, in a treasure chest. Way cheese spinning things. Us. Uh you want to just screw it. Let's let's go. Let's go for the lap two. We we have plenty of time. Now fortunately you are forced to be in the barrel, uh for for the first one, but the barrel is complete completely optional, uh, once you get to the, uh, once you get to the, uh, to the pizza pulp here. Honestly, it's, and it's honestly a lot faster to, uh, ignore the, uh, barrel there. You just have, you just, you just have to not bump into the, uh, to a wall like a moron. Or run into that, uh, cannonball like a moron. Running through that wall like a moron. Essentially, you just just, just have to uh, not be a moron and you'll be fine.
Yep, anyway, I don't think we're getting a rank here, but... Anyway. Yep, no S rank. Oh well, that's not a big deal. It, it really, it really shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, oh, we just missed that Gustavo. He has now made amends with, with his ref friend. That's, that's sweet. Uh, what is that? Uh, let's go with the They're ready. Here's the forest and there and the meme picture. There's achievement to break all the wood in this uh in this uh level, and there's also achievement to uh fall near but near B. Which is pretty funny. Wait, I'm not gonna go for the uh I am not I'm not gonna go for the I am not gonna go for the uh for the uh what do you call it? The uh uh the lumberjack achievement where you have to break every single wood block. Anyway, there's it's also achievement to uh to uh parry uh yeah an archer's uh, arrow. Anyway, I wouldn't be ignoring those uh, those blocks right now, but we can play as Gustavo now. Anyway, so Gustavo plays a bit differently compared to Pepino. For starters. As soon as you turn around, you have to re-speed up for a mock run. Uh, you have Brick now, and you now have a projectile in the form of kicking Brick. Uh, you can get Double Jump automatically. And Double Jump will automatically, uh, give you the, uh, the, and, uh, doing the, uh, the thing here. Uh, you can automatically bring Metal Block if they're on the floor. And the final thing, well, you can also do a Lariat, uh, as Gustavo. You can also wall jump. Uh, they can still talk, and they can still super talk. So, best to keep that in mind. Uh, for the majority of this level, you're gonna be playing as Gustavo and Brick. Which honestly isn't a bad thing, because you only get to play as these levels, uh, twice. Anyway, Gustavo is Mario to, uh, to, to Peppino's Wario. That's the best way I can describe, uh, Gustavo as a character. So yeah, uh, and just like Mario, landing on an enemy also automatically kills some. So uh, best to keep that in mind, folks. Let's see, do they? They do have parry attacks. So that's another thing you can. So that's another thing that's good to know uh, is that you can still parry uh, as Gustavo and uh, Brick. Now here's the stage's gimmick. You have to deliver pizza. These pizzas have a timer. Uh, essentially, if you're not there 30 minutes or less, uh, the pizza dies. I know, it sounds awful, and you only you only have one shot at this. Now, why is delivering the pizza important? Well, that's how you can uh, get the topping. And and Jerome is in a really inconvenient spot for this, because you have to grab him while delivering a pizza, and there's no way to get, get back to it. So, uh... So it's best to, uh, so if you're trying to go for, uh, oh yeah, you also, you also still will magically run, uh, if you hold down the mock run button. Uh, anyway, yeah, so if you're, so if you're trying to grab the treasure and, and, uh, and all the toppings, it's best that you, uh, at the very least, try and, try and do it as fast as possible, so you don't, 
so that way you have more time uh, to deliver your pizza. It's also a good idea to uh, to match the attack button whenever possible because you there are times you just do not build enough speed to be able to uh, to break the blocks in front of you. In my opinion, this level is also very easy to, uh, to S rank, by the way. Uh, and that's just probably because this level was made a bit easier because of Usavo. Because, uh, he's, because you have plenty of time to kill enemies. Uh, the downside is, now I never tried P ranking this level, but it's going to be very hard to P rank just because it's very easy to lose your combo as you stop on brick, so I think that's that's more or less the trade-off here. Also, remember how I mentioned that you're going to need to uh, grab uh, Jerome while delivering a pizza? This is the uh, this is that spot you have to do it. Now, luckily, what? I now, luckily, the uh, the pathing I showed you is the easiest way to uh, deal with uh, the gold foul grabbing uh, Jerome. Now, the only thing you have to worry about is getting getting your pizza to its destination on time, which is surprising. Which, which at this right now is surprisingly easy, as I have plenty of time to, to deliver it to this Jester guy. Alrighty. Let's get out. Let's get that old skadoodle before our uh, our dick becomes a noodle. Also, I think yeah, I think I missed the secret. I think about it. Oh well, it's not it's not a big deal. So, actually, now I think, yeah, I don't, now I think about it, I don't think we, I'm going to go for the uh, second lap, because I know, I know I can competently do it, as, as the devs give you plenty of time to be able to, uh, do a second lap. But it's, uh, unfortunately, uh, I don't think we're getting S-Ring because I missed a, uh, secret. At least I'm pretty sure I missed a secret. Also, single funniest frame in this entire game. Uh, you know what? We can, we can, we can always get to Rome, uh, to his, to his, uh, generous closet, uh, on the second lap. And luckily for you, you all magically get switched to swap back because you stop on break to do the second lap. Like I said, we're probably not getting that break, but I'm gonna still try my my damn hardest. the funniest frame again. There it is. Back to that guy. And Jerome is thing is right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
it might be possible. I think we need 20,000, which I don't think we, we, I don't, actually, yeah, if we need 20,000, yeah, I don't think it's possible. Anyway, uh, the third secret is right here, by the way. Now, luckily, when you go into a secret during pizza time, you, uh, you don't have to worry about timers. They can take your time on this. Because some of these are really challenging. There we go. Yeah, I don't think this is going to be enough to, uh, to give us uh, the S rank, but it's close enough. Close enough. Anyways, unfortunately guys, that's gonna be it for today's episode. If you guys enjoy the content that I do, please consider subscribing as it'll help my channel grow. And it'll let me and it'll help the out YouTube's uh, really bad algorithm suggest my videos and whatnot. And with that and with that being said, I I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna be well not going for every single se secret, of course. But uh because I missed one, so we're not doing a 100% secret run, but that's yeah, close enough. And and probably complete the rest of World 3, maybe move on to World 4. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the in the next step in the next episode. So I uh, hope you guys have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye.